morning everybody. It is about 6 a.m. We've got a really early morning today. We're just outside Cusco. We're dropping Frank off with our friend Sharon and we're going exploring in the mountains. We're running short on time, so let's go. Um, we're gonna be going to check out a little indigenous village or at least that's our understanding thus far. And then this afternoon, we're gonna do something we haven't done since Belize. I'm really nervous actually. My last experience doing this was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys guess what it is? Anyway, we've got to go drop Frank off at Sharon's house. She's being an angel and watching Frank again so he doesn't have to hang out in the van all day because he cannot come on this adventure. Of course, first thing that happens when we walk into Sharon's house, Frank goes straight for the dog food. He's like so motivated by food that if there's dog food or human food within his reach, he's going for it. He doesn't care. Frank's only downside. I think this is our ride. Hola. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como esta? Bien. Uh, you too? Ali. Ali. Si. E? Trent. Trent. Silver. Nice Silver. to meet you. Well, we gotta make a little pit stop here. We're in Oyate Tambo. Oyate Tambo? Oyate Tambo. Oyate Tambo. If you guys remember, I couldn't say it last time either. <laughs> this is one of the oldest, most continually inhabited cities that has Incan... History and culture. Uh, Incan roots. So this was originally an Incan town, and there's like walls and canals and city structures that are here from the Incan times. So this is basically like ruins that just nobody ever left. It's really nice. Really cool. Looks like we've made it to the end of the road for today, because look at the road. Normally it's like a little river crossing, but the river is really intense right now and we might not make it across. Hola, buenas. Como estas? Bien, Bien. We made it to Patacancha, an amazing little indigenous village up high in the mountains. We're starting off the day with already my favorite activity. Look at these guys. So we were just learning that this trail that we're on is actually one of the original Inca trails. It's one of the trails that leads down to Ollante Tambo. They're all interconnected. All across South America are these insane Inca trails that the Incas used to get from different sites. A lot of them are still intact and used today, like uh, for transporting llamas. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. We've got a little bit more of this trek, and then we're gonna get to this little village. Can you breathe? No. <laughs> There's no air up no. here. <laughs> yeah, we're at high altitude. <laughs> So after our short little hike at elevation, we're really feeling it, pretty winded. We've made it to Patacancha, and this is the little indigenous town. Hola. Buenos dias. Muchas gracias. Buenos dias. Gracias. Wow. Buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Son mis Perfect. <laughs> wow. Hola, buenas. Gracias. Oh, cheers. Mm. 
Cup of tea? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Iman <laughs> Guerra. So this is Silver. He's our amazing tour guide for the morning. Where are we? Uh, we are in Patacancha Community Village, one of the villages that is still maintain a lot of the Inca traditions, you know, the culture. We can say these are the last Inca people. Wow. So if you're looking for a very authentic indigenous cultural immersion experience, this is the guy you want to talk to. Yes. <laughs> no, this is through Ukumar expeditions and Inca lodges. Yes. You host treks through the mountains yes. all the way up here so people can come and stay up here. Yes. And uh, yeah, so and then meet up local people, interact with them, learn about them. So this is really a cultural internship because you learn, they learn. You know? That's amazing. Yes. Buenos días. Buenos días. Gracias. Buenos días. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're actually going to go look at the parents of this family's house. Their house is very rustic and indigenous. What's interesting is that there's all these modern influences coming through all these different cultures, and so we can see that even in one generation, the outfits change, the rituals change, the traditions change, and here we're able to see how the parents live and how different that is from the way their kids and grandkids live. So this is like an extremely authentic, rustic representation of how these people live for hundreds of thousands of years, really. It hasn't changed much. It's crazy. So this is where they live. This is, where this is live. their house. Yeah. And it's just a one room hut with a nice simple bed. The bed, look at underneath, the guinea pigs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a bunch of guinea pigs under there, that's dinner. That's gooey. <laughs> and then all of their food storage, pots and pans for cooking, clothing. It's very it's simple. Good. So up here at this altitude, potatoes are one of the only vegetables that they can grow, but they can grow a whole different assortment. So they're really, really good at growing potatoes in these villages. And this is actually a tool that is pre-Incan. They set up these three separate pieces. There's two pieces here, there's a piece here, and then it used to be bronze way back in the day, but nowadays it's iron. And basically what you do is you hold the, the back here, you hold the front, you put your foot on and then you dig in and you can go deeper and deeper and then you push forward you push backwards and it removes a whole chunk of earth and then you can make these trenches that allows you to plant potatoes so normally they would go to their neighbors in the neighboring village and tell them that they're planting crops and that they need help and everyone will come to help them it's called Aini the reciprocation between the community. Uh, but when there's a gringo around, you just have him help you. Tu sabes uh, la leyenda del gringo rojo? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> sabes español? Uh, uh, sí, poco. Ah, poco. Sí. Ah, está bien. ¿Cuántos yeah. años? Hay uno. Ah, uno año. ¿Cuántos años tiene o cuántos años practicando español? No, no. Año. Oh, oh, tiene. Ajá. Sí, 33. Ah, sí. No, no uno. <risa> Grande niño. <risa> Llamas are an important animal in this culture for their warm wool, hearty meat, and strength carrying heavy loads during the harvest. We were lucky to witness and participate in a blessing ceremony over the llamas before learning about some of the ways that their wool can create clothing and crafts. So they shear the animals in December, January, so that the animals have time to grow back their winter coat for the next season and they're, they're never really cold. You can totally tell the difference between a baby alpaca wool and adult alpaca wool. This is so much softer and this is just a lot uh, coarser. Alpaca wool in general compared to sheep wool, totally different. This is like uh, my hair if I don't shower for a few days. Nobody wants that. 
Very coarse. Gracias. Chao, gracias. Sí. Muchas gracias. I'm so grateful we were able to spend time in the village of Patacancha. By working with these local tour guides and local tour companies, you're supporting the families directly. We're helping these communities and we can see exactly where the money is going. If you guys are coming to Peru and you're interested in going and checking out this little town and hanging out with these indigenous people, there's going to be a link in the description for this tour company. They can get you guys set up. But now, we're about to go ride some beasts. So Silver has dropped us off and we're actually switching people up. Now we're moving on to a very nerve wracking part of the day. I'm actually super nervous, really excited. Kid is, uh, we're in your hands this afternoon. Kid, what are we doing? What's going on here? We're gonna go for a ride. And we're gonna go for a ride down the Obama River here. This is Allie's <laughs> second time on a horse in her life. So Perfect. you just need to keep that in mind. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So Kid runs Frontier Lab. Yeah, so, uh, well, we also work with Silver. So uh, we work all together and um, I'm focused on the horse part of, of the operation. So we take people on short and long horse trips here in the Andes. And uh, we take short trips here in the valley because there's lots of great stuff to see. But we also, uh, we also go on long trips up to two weeks long way up in the back country wow. up there where you guys went um, and we go up on the Colca Canyon and well we're just exploring stuff all the time we always have new trips so we have Abby and who's this Sierra Sierra and Cash, Cash. cool he's Give not me the a cash. Horse. He's what? He's not a horse. He looks like a mule, Check him out. no? He's a mule. Really? He's one of the biggest mules we have around here. I get rid of mule. And he's a real nice guy. <laughs> already tell me and this guy are going to get along because he's trying to eat my sweet necklace. He's a sweets guy. I can tell he's a sweets guy, so. Meant to be? It's meant to be. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, man. Cash is like, not without me, you're not going. I didn't even tell him, he's just trying to race you. Adios, hasta luego. Pretty legit. This is the enormous river that leads down to Machu Picchu. How you doing, Allie? We're heading up to the salt mines. Pretty excited to see what this is like. Now we've switched to a different trail. It's pretty intense. This might not look like anything on the video, but like some gnarly, rocky, pretty steep, narrow trail. But the mule and the horses are taking it like a champ. I won't admit it, but Allie is so terrified right now. She's like shaking in her boots. And I'm just steady as a rock. It's so weird. A lot of people even comment on it that I'm like a daredevil and I do all these adrenaline junky things, but I'm so terrified of airplanes. And like, to be honest, I really can't explain it. But in most of the times when Allie's terrified, I'm solid as a rock. And when I'm terrified, Allie's solid as a rock. I guess we're a good team. But um, even though I feel totally safe and supported and Kid totally knows what she's doing, we just climbed up a cliff on horses and that was nothing for you. No, no. It's chill. I trust the horses a lot. They're yeah. great. They do a great job. That's why we work with these high mountain horses and the mules too, because yeah. that way they're like really solid. Whew. Yeah. It's intense. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, we came, we saw, we looked at the salt mines. Now we're on our way down. Allie is absolutely terrified to go down that trail that we came up, but I think she's gonna do just fine. You gotta trust the horse. Would you guys take a look at this view though? I don't know if it gets any better than that. Easy, easy. 
How you doing, Allie? Easy, Easy buddy. This is cool. Easy, buddy. How you doing? Oh, it. <laughs> Gracias. <sighs> I know. I got I got unequal pain, uneven pain in my legs. Well, that was an awesome adventure. Definitely way different, and I think better than the last time we rode horses. I probably won't be as in pain tomorrow, even though I can tell that I'm gonna be in pain. I'm gonna be yeah. oh, You're walking like a grandma. <laughs> We're gonna take the bus back to PSAC, and I think that there might be some pizza in our future. What do you say, Allie? We've had pizza the last three nights. Shh. So I don't, don't know. Don't tell about everyone. That. <laughs> We're gonna get pizza. Oh. And just like that, we are back to the van. What a day, dude. What a freaking day. Learned about indigenous cultures, got to intertwine and mingle, plant potatoes do a llama blessing, learn how to weave. I faced my fears. I can't believe we did that. <laughs> Allie's now a cowgirl. <laughs> if you guys are coming to Cusco or Peru or Machu Picchu, make sure you guys check out some of these other attractions that are in the area. If you guys wanna hit up Kid or Silver. Silver, we are gonna leave their links in the description to both of their tour companies. They both do awesome work. We had an amazing time today. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. <sighs> Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Smile.